morning everyone. I am Dr. Satya Pratsha, MDDM Clinical Pharmacologist and today I am going to talk on drops used in Parkinson's disease. So we all know that Parkinson's disease is the second most common neurodegenerative disease in India and characterized by rigidity, tremor and bradykinesia. And we use generally the drugs like dopamine precursor with metabolic inhibitors that is levodopa plus carbidopa combination therapy and it is available as 110 milligram tablet, 125 milligram tablet, 150 milligram tablet in the market. And the next group of drugs we are using are MAO inhibitors which reduce the levodopa and the dopamine degradation and the drugs are rasagilin that is available as 0.5 mg tablet, selagilin that is available as 1.25 mg and 5 mg tablet and safinamide which is recently approved by FDA as 50 mg and 100 mg tablet. Then the next group of drugs that is used in Parkinson's disease are Compt inhibitors, that is statical bovethyl transferase inhibitors like entacapon, that is available as 200 mg tablet, and tolcapon, but tolcapon is banned due to its hepatotoxicity, more hepatotoxic activity. So then the next group is dopamine receptor agonists. In dopamine receptor agonists, the drugs are pramipexone, that is available as 0.25 mg, 0.5 mg tablet, and ropinirone that is available as 0.25 mg and 1 mg tablet. And the another drug is rotigotin that is available as transdermal patch. And apomorphine, it is used as subcutaneous injection or IV infusion or uh, it is available as 2 mg uh, injection. And the next group is anticholinergic drugs that is Trihexyphenidyl, which is available as 1 mg and 2 mg tablet, and it has side effects like uh, dry mouth, dry eyes, or urinary retention due to its anticholinergic property. And then the next group is NMD antagonist, that is amantadine, that is available as 100 mg tablet. It can be given OD in case of Parkinson treatment. Then the next newer drug that is approved by the USFDA recently that is adenosine that is A2A receptor antagonist that is estrade highly to treat the off episodes in the Parkinson's disease and this is available as 20 milligram tablet and it is given at single dose uh, for a long time uh, monitoring should be needed in the treatment of Parkinson's disease and these drugs are having some adverse drug reactions and also very effective in Parkinson's disease. So the drugs should be used according to the guideline with causes. And monitoring, the issue, we can monitor the, as for the MDS PDRS scale, and we can also use PDQ39 questionnaire for monitoring of the quality of life of the patient. Thank you very much.